What's up guys, it's your boy Lyrical Pyrrhus. Today we're gonna peer into the lyrical genius of Shadow of Intent. Y'all have been asking a lot for this, so we're gonna go ahead and do it. The Heretic Prevails. Worship music nowadays is a little different from when I was a kid. You raise me up. You know, okay. So today, Lyrical Pyrrhus is gonna peer into these lyrics. We're gonna we're gonna dig out what we can find, see what we can find, okay? And now so far from what I've heard, this band is not Christian, but who's to say nowadays? So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna make sure they're not. If not, we could probably we could do something about it. I don't know, maybe we get a prayer meeting after. But let's just go ahead and get started. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, okay. So the first line, you, you can hear it right off. The, is this the beginning or the end? And that just lets me know he has no idea where he's at. He doesn't know if he's already been playing the song or if he's just begun and that that's that's the spirit of confusion. Your fate's in the palm of my hands. Who's he talking about? We don't know yet. Let's continue and listen in. Really solid ripping. I've been trying to get double bass in the church for a long time. They just won't let me do it. <laughs> I'm gonna stop you right there, okay? Betwixt the light and the void within the heart of the front. See, now, when you say betwixt, it makes me think of the candy, and it throws off the rest of the line. I know what you were doing there. You're trying to trying to get me not to think of it. So, betwixt the light and the void, and the darkness was upon the face of the deep, and the Spirit of the Lord looked upon the waters. He's quoting biblical scripture, I'm pretty sure. I haven't read it, but I betwixt the light and the void. I thought that's what I heard. Okay. Beyond the reaches of God, smothered in triumph and loss. Now, if I were to interpret that line, I would I wouldn't know where to start or end. Is this the beginning or is this the end? And now when he's pronouncing that, I can tell he's pronouncing with a little G. Okay, I know he didn't mean it. Some people do voice typos, it happens. Um, but I think we all know who he's talking about, okay? And I'm curious to figure it out, because I don't know. Beyond the reaches of God, so nothing. Or everything, I don't know what you believe. Smothered in triumph and loss. So far I'm getting no depth. I'm just sadness. He's sad, why are you so sad? <laughs> Whoa, 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 let's unpack that. Now I'm pretty sure he's saying, alas, the nightmare nears its end. In that case, deep stuff, deep sleep. Good stuff, good sleep, good now. Hello? As the hourglass drains of its sand. Now I know a thing or two about hourglasses, okay? Pureness. I don't know how that connects. As the hourglass drains of its sand. So he's breaking open time to release Sand? I don't, it's good though. And I think he just goes on to uh, talk about the Twix. Okay, I think right there he's, he, 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 he's speaking truth. Okay, you can hear it coming from deep within, very guttural. I am worthy of the conquering of all. That, it just sounded like he needed to put a couple more syllables in there. I would have, I would have went with something like, you are, the light of my life, but that's just me. Ignition of the fuse, the kingdom to fall. See, now what he's saying there is he's gonna ignite the fuse, okay, and the kingdom will fall. Abs oh, mm. I apologize. <laughs> Lyrical pureness sometimes gets into preaching mode, and I don't wanna get into preaching mode because then I'm gonna ask for my offering. I am worthy of the conquering of all. Okay, so he's gone. It's blasphemy, you. Ignition of the fuse, that's what you you do with fuses and the kingdom to fall. So you're blowing, you're blowing fireworks. Fourth of July, you're having a party, I'll bring the hot dogs. Now we're getting into the hot dogs of it. The hot dogs and potatoes. Let's, let's just keep it going. Let's take a breather right there. I suggest, singer, you do the same. Sounds like you've just been inhaling the entire time. Uh, right there, he's saying, "Why, why, what, what? If I'm hearing it well, why do you continue in strife, reclaimer?" Which I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't understand who that is. Okay, so he's talking to a guy named Reclaimer. 
Uh, I'm assuming he's like a tax collector. He's coming to reclaim what was never his, but he takes it anyway. That's how taxes work. Why do you continue in He's mad. He's mad. He's made all this money. He's a demolition man. He's blowing up buildings. He's a demolition man. He's uh, tearing st stuff down, getting paid for it. And, and and the reclaimer keeps coming and takes in all his stuff. Takes in correct. I think Lyrical Pyrrhus is getting deep, deep into this. Okay, insert pig squeal. So far, I am blown away. Okay, that this is church music. <laughs> it's so much different. He raised me up. Josh Groban would never. You'll die eventually. <laughs> uh, before you go into a face melting, shredding solo, I think we should. <laughs> Chit chat about that line. Lines. Surrender the construct and succumb to a painless end. I thought you didn't know if this was the end or the beginning. Why can't we succumb to a painful beginning? I shall never bow to a maddened tyrant. He's talking about Shadrach, Meshach, and a bendy goat. <laughs> You, you'd have to see it. They're, they're like real bendy. Um, and not bowing down to the tyrant that is the golden god. He won't, he would be cast into the fire. Oh, there I go again. I'm talking about preaching. Give me all your money. No, 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 no. Close fist. Okay. Obsessed with murderous protocols. I think he's th talking about the tax man. I get that way too sometimes. Not much because um, money given to the church is tax deductible. We ain't got to pay taxes on that. So I shall not bow to thee. So he's talking to you. What'd you do? I mean, I'll give you time to think, but let's just go ahead and just skedaddle right into what is it? Verse nine now. Okay. Mm, that part I want to I want to go ahead and tackle that part before we go back uh, the rrr 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 thing he's doing which I told you to do that earlier he's just collecting his his thoughts via air which is smart you want to you want to take a little breather here and there but what he's saying there is you may be seated y'all been standing this entire time infamous name etched into stone since the dawn of days that's beautiful that reminds me of the next line sheltered beyond the realm that means omnipresent omniscient Arios. Sound good? The secrets of Cathona have fertilized the seeds. Okay, I don't want to be of the world, but before Victoria had a secret, Cathona had a secret. Okay. And uh, now Cathona's secret was to fertilize seeds, okay? Basically, he. He's just basically telling you how to how to create a profitable garden. Okay, this is a money making song. You listen to these lyrics, you're gonna you're gonna know how to avoid the tax man. You're gonna know how to make a profitable garden, sell your things out of your garden. This is where worship needs to go. Informational, okay, and spiritual. Thank you, Kathona, for your fertilization and your seeds. I'm gonna stop you there. Now this, it took me a little bit to understand. Bludgeoning, psychophant legion spewing forth from the beast. The mark of the beast. I think we all know who we're talking about. I think his deep-rooted fears are the beast and the legions are his emotions, okay? He's just trying to let them out by spewing. I will not rot. He's basically telling you he's non-perishable, okay? The things he grows in his garden, he ain't gonna let them go to waste. He knows what he's doing. He's got a green thumb. Okay, and he's spewing stuff. Nor will I become a trophy of the tyrant of the kingdom to fall. Okay, there we go again, talking about the kingdom, the fall, the tyrant, the trophy. I have a trophy, she's beautiful, she stays at home most of the time. Now, when I think of uh, becoming a trophy, okay, I think again about Shadrach, Meshach, and a bendy goat, and I think about them, and I do, uh, give me your money, okay. Mm -hmm. Fashion Nova's having a 40% off right now, so celebrate 20 million followers on IG. Congratulations, Fashion Nova. How'd you get my number? I was wondering when he'd get that burp out. That sounds exactly like my newborn whenever he's 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 fussing around. He's trying he's trying his best to get that burp out. And uh, that's what it sounds like when he gets it. So I'm glad you could take time during your worship session to uh, you know just let it out. Sometimes you just gotta. Let's continue. Okay, okay, see now now we're getting deep into it. The time has come, the will is done. He He's dying, okay, he knows he is. He's already made his will. He's completed the will, it's signed. Everything goes to the cat. That's probably where he got that one thing from. I heard my cat do that once and I was afraid. I took her to the 24 hour vet. They said, that's normal and I was like, 
you should have seen it. And then he repeats, I will not rot. Just basically, he's promoting his gardening business, nor will I become a trophy of the tyrant of fall. Oh, we've, we've been over this, bendy goat. And I believe right here, it sounds like. Reclaimer again. He's talking back to the taxes man. It's second. See, it's already the second quarter. Why, why do you come and strive, Reclaimer? Which is exactly what I'm going to say next time they call me. Okay, you've piqued my interest. As we near the end of the tale, is this the end, the tale, or the beginning? Tombs no longer beg for inversion. Okay. Ain't nobody want to be turned around when they're dead. You can't. Can't take it with you. Can't take your tombs with you. Can't turn around when you're dead. That's what he's saying. I don't know why. The heretic prevails. He's talking about a bloodthirsty, vile, vile jungle bug that sucks blood from people with much hair. Hairy tick. Horrors discovered now have been cleansed. Baptism. We're getting there. Praise the Lord. I will not rob. Again, I think this is the name of his gardening business, which it doesn't say copyright or trademark, feel free. I will not rock gardening business and landscaping. We also do pools. Dismemberment of the myriad. Now, this could mean a myriad of things. And <laughs> flailing as they suffocate in silence. Now, I know he's not talking about cats, okay? Have you, I, like I, <laughs> they've never, you can't. I've, I think he's murdering someone, which is kind of confusing because I thought this was about God, big G, not that little G stuff he was doing earlier. Um, maybe a pe pillow. I think he's suffocating people with pillows, which now it's getting a little dark and I'm starting to understand that maybe I'm in the wrong, sp wrong spot here. Maybe I'm a little out of my element. Money. <laughs> recollected only in lore. So now he's killed the tax man. The tax man can only recollect his taxes uh, in a fairy tale. Beautiful ending to that tax man story. Oh, sorry, play. Okay, before you just drop it down into the pits of hell, which it sounds like you're about to do that, let me just, let's, t let's talk, okay? Let me help you. I don't need you to go, okay, you don't need to go that far down. Okay. As the seeds brought forth from Kithona begin to fertilize, our plants are coming forth bringing fruit, okay? You reap what you sow is basically what he's talking about. Bendigo. Endless indoctrination proceeds to blanket the ring. He's just throwing a bunch of words out there. Now this line, when I heard this line, I, uh, okay. It says, no longer an end as a new beginning emerges at last. We figured it out. It's not the, it, this is the beginning. And if you go back to the beginning of the song, you answer your own question. Is this the beginning of the end? Uh, yes, this is a new beginning emerges at last. Cause it's the last part of the song. Well, before he drops it into Beelzebub's lap, cause I know he's, <laughs> I feel it, okay? No drummer stops playing unless he's about to just, you know, just twerk on the devil. As the kids say, I don't know. Okay, it sounds as though they have already reached the pits of hell. They're already there, we can't save them. Um, I don't even... Mm. Okay, um, if I were... Mm. He's heavily promoting, heavily his gardening business, okay? It's getting annoying at this point. He's basically saying, I will not rot. Okay, this is my business. Dismemberment of the myriad. He's talking about pulling weeds. He's basically just, he's campaigning right now, okay? I like it, I'm in for it. Filling as they suffocate in silence. The weeds, he's been talking about his gardening business this entire time. The weeds flailing in silence, they don't, weeds don't make noise unless you pull it and you and you make a little deer whistle out of it, whatever. Recollected only in lore. He, he, he's, he's, oh, uh, hmm. Let's listen to that again. So now 
he's taken more of a, a calm approach to uh, his gardening business as the seeds fertilize. I'm for it, promote. I planted this. It's dying, it will rot. It has dismemberment of the leaves. It's just nonstop promotion. I'm BrandonFerris.com by my merch. It's just nonstop promotion and I'm for it. I honestly, I pegged you guys wrong. I didn't mean to peg you in the first place. <laughs> Ew. I, I just wanna, I just wanna say thank you. You scared me there for a bit with all the killing and the murder and the suffocation and silence. Um, uh, but these boys are good. They're good boys. Okay, they got. Um, okay, they're. Uh, I can't keep helping you guys. And in, in the end of the song, it basically just says, "I've destroyed the ring, declared my legacy." So he's oh dethroning the Lord. What? Oh, I have. I have um, yeah, worship music nowadays. I think we can all lift each other up. I think we can all learn a bit from this. I probably wouldn't um, worship to this. If you like this music, I mean, yeah, go for it. I mean, I don't really listen to heavy metal. I, I, I've only been listening to um, sweet, sweet sounds of jungle music. So, I mean, it's nice to hear human voice, although I've heard that. Uh. Thank you for joining me on another episode of Lyrical Pureness, uh, where we peer into the looking glass of uh, modern day worship music. Thank you all for this suggestion. This was fun. Uh, any more suggestions for worship music, I'm, I'm open to it. It's a good time. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go question myself. Is this the beginning or is this the end? <laughs>